what's up youtube so um with the way that the weather's been lately it's extremely cold for georgia i mean i know some of the people in like northern europe and freaking the northeast and the northwest and the united states are gonna freaking think i'm crazy for saying that 35 36 degrees is cold but it's freaking cold for georgia so uh plus we've been getting rain and snow and sleet and all kinds of stuff which is not typical for here so I haven't really been able to do a whole lot of stuff outside. So I'm going to go in a little bit different direction in this video. Um, I really hope y'all enjoy what I'm getting ready to show you. And uh, I'll just let the video speak for itself. So hope you enjoy. What's up, YouTube? So I wanted to give you guys a walk around on my buddy Logan's car. It's been a while since he, I've had the car on the channel. Um, I've been working on doing a custom tune for his car, and I've been having a little bit of issues with it. So... Uh, I have not been able to do the custom tune on his car yet, but that will be the next thing in the works. Um, I kept having checked some errors and things of that nature, but um, I believe that his wheels, he's going to buy my wheels, and I'm going to try and find some RS6 wheels. Uh, some of the blades that are off of the RS6, the 19-inch ones. Um, but you can see his car is really freaking nice. He, he maintains it very well, but... There's the three inch exhaust tip, two and a half inch exhaust on mine. Uh, he's got all of his windows tinted except for his back one. He broke his back windshield. Uh, I think he was toting some lumber in here or something and smacked the back window and broke it. But, uh, and then he's got a crack in the windshield, but really, really well maintained car. He, he does a very good job of taking care of it and doing preventative maintenance and all that stuff. So, and then here's my pile. Uh, you can see I still have not finished this fender. Um, I just primered it so it wouldn't rust. This fender's done, been done from when I did the video, but it's just been too cold to try. Because I don't have a shop and I'm doing this stuff outside, I feel like it's too cold for me to try and do this Bondo on this fender. So I'm gonna wait until it warms up and then I'm gonna do that and then I'll paint the whole car. But uh, yeah, my car, I got, got the uh, good front bumper on it got the uh like i say i'm going to change those wheels out for rs6 blades and uh running the two and a half inch exhaust on it i haven't really done anything else to this car i'm going to get the window tint removed because my back window is messed up and i'm going to get all new tint put on the whole car plus my front windows are not tinted and i want those tinted um so we'll see how it goes but i'm going to do a cold start on my car and then I'm going to do a cold start on Logan's car. So you guys can hear the difference. Obviously, it's not going to be uh, apples to apples because this is a 2.7 liter. And that's a 1.8 liter. That's a 3-inch exhaust. This is a 2.5-inch exhaust, but they're both straight pipe. He's got a high-flow cat. I've got stock cats on here. I've got an OEM uh, S4 stock cats on here. So it's got the pre-cat and the regular cat on it. He's got a, a 034 Motorsports high-flow cat on his. So that will make a little bit of difference in the, in the tone, but the three inch exhaust is way louder than the two and a half. So I'm gonna do a cold start on mine. And then with mine running, I'm gonna do a cold start on his and you're gonna be able to tell the difference dramatically. All right guys, cold start on the 2.7 uh, A4. Go ahead, Logan. So you can hear that one's not very loud. I mean, hit it, hit, give it a little gas, man. Take these cars down the street and uh, 
see what the acceleration difference is between them. I asked him if he wanted to race, and he straight up asked me, you should have said, do you want to lose? So <laughs> we'll have to see what happens. I think he underestimates his car. But uh, we're going to do an acceleration test between the two so you can hear the exhaust tone out of both of them. You can see the throttle response out of both of them. And uh, we'll just go from there. But it's going to be 27T straight pipe versus a 1.8T with quite a few mods and straight pipe. So hope you enjoy. All right, guys. So before I get into uh, Logan and myself uh, pulling the cars, um, I want to go over what's done to his car. And if you've been watching my channel, you're pretty up to date on what's done to my car. But I'll still go over it for those people that have not followed along with my build on my car. So Logan's car is a 2001 uh, B5 S4. Uh, it's got the 1.8 uh, AWM motor in it. Um, he has a CX Racing front mount intercooler, a uh, 034 high, high flow cat. Um, he and myself built the uh, three inch uh, straight pipe exhaust. It's covered in one of my videos on my channel. Um, he's got the upgraded uh, coil packs and I don't know if there's anything else done to it. Uh, I might be missing something, but it doesn't have a whole lot of stuff done to it. But it, so, I mean, it's basically stock with an intercooler and um, air intake and high flow exhaust. Um, no injector work has been done to it. Nothing like that. So uh, as far as my car, my car is a 2005 uh, Audi A4 uh, with a 27T swap out of a 2001 um, A6 with the APB motor. Uh, the only modifications that I have done to mine is the uh, two and a half inch straight pipe exhaust. I still have the factory uh, catalytic converters with the pre-cats in them. Uh, did not make piggy pipes. And uh, I'm running a stock tune during this video to make it fair for Logan. Now, once I do the tune on his car, um, we will run them again. Mine with a stock tune, his with the beefed up tune. And then I'll throw my beefed up in tune and race him with his beefed up tune and my beefed up tune, and we'll see what the difference is then. But on, in the first video, you'll see uh, Logan did not launch correctly. Um, he was actually, he wasn't holding his e-brake and, and getting his RPMs up to actually launch like he was supposed to. Um, so we redid it and did a second run. And on the second run, I actually let him take the hit before I took off. Uh, you can still hear the uh, three horn beeps to let him know that I'm ready. And uh, I let him take the hit before I took off on the last video. So uh, hopefully you guys get a kick out of this. Me and Logan had a great time doing this. Uh, it was a whole lot of fun. So um, I know the video is going to be short in reference to the actual racing that he and I did. But it was a whole lot of fun and I can't wait to do it again. So really hope you all enjoy this. Okay, guys, so I just made a janky-ass uh, mount for my freaking camera so that I can do a rip with this thing down the road with my camera sitting here facing at the damn exhaust so that I can get a good sound clip of this thing going down the road. But that's my uh, BS engineering that I came up with on the fly. Uh, I can make something better, but this was just spur of the moment, throw something on here. It's bolted into one of my hinge bolts. And then just a tripod zip tied to it. Uh, it'll work for what I'm doing. I'm not going racing or anything like that. I'm just going to do one real good rip down the street so that I can uh, get a clip of the exhaust.
about the joys of using an old cell phone so I don't break my good iPhone 12. Um, so the battery died on this one while I was trying to do that rip. Hopefully it got a good uh, video of, of the exhaust. If not, I'm going to charge it up, go back out and do another one. All right, guys. So the wind uh, made it a little too noisy to be able to hear the exhaust the way that I wanted to hear it on the video. So what I've done this time is I actually took some cotton balls and wrapped them around the microphones. I'm hoping that it makes it a little bit more clear. I don't think it's going to, but I'm going to try it again and we'll see how it goes. So hopefully this one sounds a little bit better. All right, guys, so hopefully you enjoyed that little uh, video. Um, I had a lot of fun making it, uh, showing just how the exhaust sounds after it's got about 10,000 miles of uh, use on it. Um, Logan's exhaust has nowhere near as much uh, use on it as mine does. Uh, he doesn't travel like I do. Um, he may have like a 1,000 or 2,000 miles on his exhaust, but I've, I've got shit almost 12,000 13,000 on mine now um but that shows the exhaust it's, it's the best i could do with the camera equipment that i've got um i'm not making any money off of these videos and that's not really my goal but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna sink any money into buying more camera equipment i'm just recording this stuff with my phone if if i start getting money off this channel i'll start reinvesting it in cameras and stuff like that but that is not my goal my goal is to give the community a little bit of uh information that maybe help them out uh with their own project so been saying that all along it's still the way that i view it so um hopefully this gives somebody some inspiration on what they can do with their car um that's why i wanted to show the 1.8 and the 2.7 um so we'll just go from there but hopefully y'all enjoyed this video i believe on the next video i'm going to show rebuilding the front suspension on my car and uh possibly start doing a body kit i'm not 100 certain but i know i'm gonna do 
uh, cross drilled slotted brakes and rotor with ceram ceramic brakes with cross drilled and slotted rotors. And then uh, I'm gonna do uh, rebuild the front suspension. Now I may wind up doing a Brembo brake conversion or, or something along those lines, but right now I'm just gonna uh, replace the brakes that are on my car because they're the biggest brakes that were offered factory on a B6 was the uh, 30 V6 with the six speed Quattro uh, 2005. They were the biggest OEM brakes that came on a B6. So uh, I'm, I'm just gonna replace those with stock replacement, well, upgraded stock replacements uh, with the uh, cross-drilled slotted rotors and the uh, ceramic pads. So I'll cover that in the next video, but hope y'all like this. Uh, if you did, please like, comment, share, subscribe, let your friends see what I'm doing. And uh, hopefully we can continue to let this channel grow and I'll be able to start doing some really cool shit on this channel. So thanks. Have a great day.